Hello, hello. Zach the Porcupine here with Manistee Media. Have you ever tried to send someone a photo or video and uh, via email and it just wouldn't go through? Uh, maybe that photo or video file was too big. Today we're going to learn how to use Dropbox. Dropbox is a cloud file share s service and there's a free version and a paid version. Today we're just going to use the free version. And we're going to learn how to transfer those bigger files over to somebody else. Stick with me. Alrighty, everyone. We are now going to sign up for Dropbox. So let me scoot out of this. And I already have it pulled up for us. So this is drawbox.com. We're gonna see a screen that looks like this. We're going to type in our name, email, address, and password type deal. All right. So now it says like, oh, guess what? We can try it for free, but then you have to pay, blah, 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 blah. Well, on the left side, we do see continue with two gigabytes for Dropbox Basic, and that is all we're gonna need to start with. So click on that. We're gonna want to download Dropbox, so click download. Uh, continue onward. Gonna put that in my download folder, saving that. All right. Now, once this is installed, um, actually, I, not to jump ahead, but let's continue on. Downloading and installing. Okay, now that that is installed, we're gonna continue on. We're gonna click next and next, next. All right, keep going, keep going. We're going to click, we're gonna go to dropbox.com again. So just bear with me. All right, so we are now in the web version of Dropbox. This is where people get confused, okay? Now, of course, it's going to continue to give me pop-ups saying, you know, hey, I can add more space, things of that nature. Just don't worry about it right now. Now, people get confused, okay, and... The reason being is that there's a web version, there's a phone version, as well as like the desktop version of Dropbox, and it it can get confusing for people. Okay, we're gonna click over here on the right side. We're gonna create a new folder. And I'm just gonna say Dropbox tutorial. Alrighty, we're gonna create that and the folder is empty so let's add some photos and I got my we'll just go with these and we're gonna just click and hold it and drag it on over and you can see at the bottom they are now uploading here they go here's one two three and four all right so all of these have been uploaded in the upper left um, just a little bit to the right we're gonna click on the Dropbox and as we can see this is where our folder is at and we're gonna click share and we're gonna share this all right so You'll see right to the right of the email, it says can edit or can view. Now, this is where you can have people be able to change what is in the folder. Or if you click can view, they can download, but they can't actually edit or remove or delete or add files. Um, it can be beneficial both ways. It just depends on what you're using it for, okay? So I'm gonna click on can view for now. And we're gonna say photos. 
got it and share okay so it is sharing right now and boom got it so that's all it took right there okay so check this out right this is where our Dropbox tutorial is and as we can see the photos that we did that we uploaded in the web browser are now uploaded here now what if we go to so we're in our Dropbox what happens if we click on new folder and we're gonna try desktop version okay we're gonna click on this guy and boom just like so and we're just gonna I'm just gonna copy these over okay and if you want a cool shortcut uh, it is control or command C and control and then we can click on the folder and control or command V and that's just copy and paste okay so these guys are going see all of a sudden they get green check marks and come over here and here they are just like that all right now what if I come over here to our tutorial and I say delete okay so now in the lower right hand corner there it said I just deleted a photo okay so you're getting notified of when things are occurring in your Dropbox now this comes in handy because if you're if you are sharing folders day in and day out and you don't have time to keep track of everything you can just get that pop-up click see what's going on and then you're on your way now the last way that we have for doing this is to go to our phones right okay so now we go to the app store this is uh android or ios apple either one is fine we're going to download this i already have it installed so mine just says open but just download it and i'm going to open and we're going to go to sign in and we're going to sign in signing in and it's gonna i mean it keeps telling you you know hey you should upgrade just ignore this there's cancel up on the upper right of mine so click cancel uh we are gonna skip i am gonna skip this you do have the option of selecting photos to upload we're gonna skip this for now and guess what we're gonna go to create we're going to creator upload and we are going to go to um and click done create okay and this folder says it is empty so we can click on upload photos let's select this one and this one so we can select multiple click next we can so heic not everywhere is uh compatible yet i would just do the jpeg for now it it's just easier so just keep that like that and click upload okay now we will notice on our desktop we just got notified and if i click on if i click on dropbox and all of a sudden we have the version that we did on our phone right here just like that okay we do have one final thing that we can do on our phone because our folder says share and let's click on share and we can type in our email photos 
just like so and share. There we go. So that folder is now shared just like that. All right. I believe that that is about everything that I have for Dropbox. Happy sharing everybody. All righty. I think we learned how to use Dropbox. Now go share those photos and videos with your family. This is Zach the Porcupine with Manistee Media. Please uh, click follow, uh, subscribe, the usual stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.